it was it felt like it was being opened by someone from the outside and I literally turned to Rosie I said like someone's trying to get into our apartment We could have been asleep and this guy would have been walking around our apartment whilst we're sleeping and I regret opening the door I just shouldn't have opened the door all right, H family, this is the first morning we've ever woken up and we are officially above the clouds. Oh my God, it literally feels like we're in an airplane. Oh my God, it's so bright. I don't even know if you can see that. But we're actually above the clouds. It's so cool. And then look out this window here and you can just see that other building just poking through. I woke up and I had to grab Harry out of bed. So he's literally just like half asleep and I had to call my mum as well. It looks so cool. Okay, so we've come to Starbucks, of course. There wouldn't be an R&H family vlog without a trip to Starbucks. There wouldn't. And there's apparently a new drink that Starbucks has bought out. It's On been TikTok. all over TikTok. I don't know, what even is it? I think it's a, I think it's a brownie something. It's I'm called, not too sure. What's the word? I literally said it to you earlier. I don't want to say it because I know I get it. Ch ch churro? Oh. Churro? Churro? Churro. Churro. I don't know how to say that word. Churro. Harry's going to try it because I can't have dairy. So we're going to show you guys Harry's reaction to trying the new Starbucks. Yeah, top because drink. I'm curious. Every time a new Starbucks drink comes out, we've got to try it for you got guys. Because there's no point going to spend money at Starbucks if it's not actually that good. Because you know, Starbucks is like, it wrecks your bank. It like, does. It's like <laughs> five pound for a bit of milk. You used to do the brownie cappuccino. It's, ch it's the is there, churro is there something? Is there something called like a churro drink? Oh, the churro frappuccino. Yeah, let's get that. Yeah, do that one instead. Um, churro. <laughs> How did you know what it was called? I literally just told you what it was called. Like, can we have the brownie drink? I was like, can I have the TikTok drink? He's like, uh, don't know about that. I don't know about that. <laughs> it smells so cinnamony. It does. Have you ever tried a cinnamon bun? Yeah, I love yeah, that. And you put them in the microwave and they go all melted. That's oh. what it smells like. So it's a churro frappuccino, but it smells really cinnamony. Oh my god. What? That is so unreal. Is it so good? I wish you could try that. Oh, shut up. Don't wait, do wait, that. Wait, wait, wait. I need to What is it? What What does it taste like? I don't even know. I can't even like... Is it just really sweet? It tastes like a mixture of like cinnamon. Yeah. But like, you know that cinnamon taste is horrible. Yeah. It hasn't got that in it. It's like a sweet mm. Guys, you need to try this. What go to hell? your Starbucks and try this. Oh my God. I didn't even ask for my name this time. Aww. Guys, normally when I go to Starbucks and I get Rosie a drink, I always get them to write something on the cup. It's really cute, but it's, I don't have drinks enough at Starbucks. Have, like, yeah, you don't have it recently. So on but, a rare occasion, Harry does that. Oh my God. Go to Starbucks and you guys try it and then put it down in the comments and tell us what you think, because that is unreal. Oh my God. Okay, RNH family, so we're gonna tell you exactly what happened last night because I know that's why you clicked on this video. And um, we don't really know how to talk about it, like, we don't know how to flow it because it was just so scary and like we never thought we'd ever like go through this. Yeah, we didn't think we'd ever have to do a video where we're kind of like sat down explaining the fact that someone tried to break into our house. Yeah, so so scary, like, we've never ever witnessed anything like this in our whole life. Like, and I don't want anyone to have to go through this. Like we never wanted to go through it. And, um, but I guess like we have this platform with you guys and it's only right that like we share these kind of moments with you guys so that we can like educate you and prevent it happening to you guys. Yeah, just to kind of like spread awareness at the same time as bring you, bringing you guys on our whole life journey. That's what we do this for. So yeah. obviously it's only like seems normal for us to want to share this with you guys. Yeah, and it's not like, I don't want anyone thinking this is fake. Like this is like, my, I didn't want to do this video because I had a feeling people were going to think it's fake. It is not fake. I promise you, we'd never do anything like this. It's fake. That's not what we're about. Um, so I don't want you guys thinking that. We do have some footage of what happened. We are going to show you guys throughout this video mm -hmm. um, at like different points when we're talking about it. But there is some footage. Um, I did pick up my phone. I did like record a few bits because I thought like this is so weird and I just wanted to record it. Just um, in case we needed it for anything or if like if the police were called, like, if yeah. we needed to, like, show them any evidence of anything. Or so, show them the person as well. You yeah, know? so, like, we do have bits. Harry picked up his phone, like he said, and we're going to show you guys bits of that footage as we're talking about it, so it's, like, in the right order of the story, if that kind of makes sense. Yeah, so we will show you guys some footage. There is some footage. But before we show you the footage, we just want to, like, tell you guys, like, how it made us feel, because I know you guys are gonna, probably going to be curious of, like, how we actually felt. And, like, personally, for me, like, this is, like, my heart was like, so, it was racing. I've never really felt like this before. It was like the weirdest experience ever, wasn't it? It was yeah. like, my heart was just going, like straight away. I was just like, I don't know what to do. And I instantly started to think of like, 
where I could go, like if he was in the house, like where we could go, because there's nowhere else we could go. Yeah, I know. It's, it scared us a lot. Yeah, and the thing is, there's been people that have had it way worse than this, and that's why we wanted to like tell you guys everything that happened, so that like hopefully by the end of this video, you can like have like an insight, and like maybe you guys can be more careful at your own house and your own home or apartment. Mm -hmm. Um, just because like this could happen to anyone. So obviously we're gonna go into the story now fully what happened and explain everything to you guys But before we get into it like we had no idea who this person was that was trying to get into our apartment We didn't know what he was trying to do or what he was trying to achieve out of what he was doing But yeah. all we know is that it scared us so much to the point where I feel like I can't even explain the amount that it like I know freaked I know. me out in the moment, but Obviously, we're gonna go into the story of it now, and the footage is gonna like come in sections through the whole uh, video. So yeah, so like basically, what happened was we were asleep. We were asleep, and it was like two a.m. in the morning. Um, we heard this knocking at the door. Well, you heard it first. Harry actually woke up first yeah, before I, me. I heard this door. I heard the door like shaking, rattling. And I just assumed it was like our bedroom door like shaking because it was windy. Yeah. So like our front door I realized was shaking and it was like it was it felt like it was being opened by someone from the outside and I literally turned to Rosie I said like someone's trying to get into our apartment. But then as soon as you woke me up and as soon as I came like around like pretty much straight away I could hear the persistent knocking as well and the thing is it wasn't just the odd few knocks it was continuous it was banging. knocking and banging at our door. Like, like the police were at our door like banging hard yeah and i don't like i didn't get like the footage at the start because like, i didn't really think about picking up the camera straight away but i did catch him um like banging on the door a few times he just did not stop banging on the door what the fuck is it doing oh my god look how sweaty is it you're trying to get in our apartment i don't know what to do guys should we call security or something i don't know what to do Because I'd got up by this point. I'd put like a t-shirt on and stuff because I kind of just stayed in bed and I was like, didn't know what to do. And like Harry said, like we managed to call the security from our little security box. But to start with, we were so half asleep. We didn't actually know, I know. who to call. We were like, I was trying to Google like uh, uh, security yeah, downstairs. I, I was so half asleep and I was like, I can't like do we call the police? And it or? was Harry that remembered that we've got a little box up there on our wall that is like um like a direct line to reception downstairs. So like the concierge downstairs and yeah. stuff. I said there's a guy trying to get in our apartment, so she sent up two security guards. Hi, oh, yeah, would it be okay to send some security up? I think there's someone trying to break into our apartment. And we um, are so lucky yeah. to stay and to know that we have 24-7 security downstairs at our apartment because if yeah. it wasn't for the security downstairs, we don't know what could have happened. And some people don't even have that. That's why we wanted to make this video because like some people don't have security. Some people don't have anything apart from just a door. Yeah. And like if, you're in a, if we were in a normal house that day and he was trying to get in, he would have gone around the back. He would have gone around anywhere to try and get in. Or even like a window that might be. A window, open, yeah. And luckily something. we just had one door and we had security. It took about... I'd say it took about a couple of minutes for security to come up. They were so quick on it, which was really good. But in that time of us waiting for security to come, we kind of just stayed in our lounge area, which is like the furthest place away from the front door, yeah. just in case anything was to happen. Yeah. Luckily, like Harry does this thing every single night where he checks that our front door has 100% been locked and the handle has been pushed up so that it's like... You, no, you can't. You can't get in unless you have like a little key to get in. Yeah, like some people just push it, but I make sure like it's locked. I make sure like I look through the keyhole, and no one's there. It's like a little like habit before I go to bed. I always like, can't sure sleep. You're safe. Yeah, just to make sure we're safe and stuff. So like I always lock it, and then I feel good to go to bed and stuff like that. But imagine if we didn't lock the door. If I never locked that door, or we never like locked it at night, we never like closed it, and we just we didn't double kind of check. Didn't double check. We could have been asleep, and this guy would have been looking over us whilst we're sleeping or walking around our apartment whilst we're sleeping. Like that could have been like, that's like one that's of the worst things. That's horrible to think of. Are you sure I locked the door? Are you sure that I locked the door? Cause I'm sure I did. Oh my God, what the fuck? What the actual fuck? 
And this guy was clearly like, I don't know, I don't know if he was drunk, I don't know if he was on drugs, I don't know what was happening. Yeah, in that moment we had no idea. Obviously, we kind of have a bit more of a story to it now. Yeah. That we've kind of like figured some more things out and spoke to security. But in that moment, we had absolutely no idea what this guy was trying to do, why he was trying to get into our apartment. No idea. But once security had come up, they, we could hear them speaking outside and asking this guy what he was doing yeah. outside our door. And this guy's response was that he was trying to get in because he thought that this was his apartment. It was his apartment, but then like we found out that he never actually lived here. So yeah, obviously we could hear security asking him why he was here and his response to that was that he was trying to get into his own apartment. So we don't know whether he was just lying to the security guards to make them think that this was his apartment so he could get in and do something in here. That's what it sounded like. The security were asking him questions like, do you live here? Is this your apartment? And he was replying yes. Like he was replying yes. And at this point I got really angry and I opened the door and I regret opening the door. I just shouldn't have opened the door. Yeah, he shouldn't have opened the door just because he could have had anything on him. He could have been armed. He could have done anything and we yeah. shouldn't We shouldn't have opened the door. But the only reason you felt safe enough to open the door and confront the issue the was because the there. security guards were there. That's what I mean. We wouldn't have opened the door if the security guards weren't there. There was two or three guys that were obviously very like big built like security guards yeah, yeah, yeah. and like that was the only safety we had to like therefore open the door and explain but I think I think what annoyed me was like he kept saying he, he lived here he lived here and I didn't want him to convince the security that he was genuinely living here so I just opened the door and I like got a bit angry I was like you don't live here it's not your house like this is our apartment and, he and was, the only reason he believed he just he kept going on he did not believe a word you were saying no he didn't really. believe a word I was saying and I don't understand why um, and then like I opened the door a little bit and I was like look me and my girlfriend live here This is our place um, And then after he saw Rosie He saw me stood there so scared He just like didn't say anything and I was like this isn't your apartment bro Like go do whatever you want to do but you need to stop trying to get in So obviously like after I opened the door and stuff like that The security did they did take him away eventually They said like come on let's go like we're gonna help you out and stuff like that um, but I don't even re I don't even think this guy knew like where he was himself. I don't I think he knew. As soon as we opened the door and we kind of saw him more like in person, I think the reason why he was doing what he was doing was because he'd either taken some drugs or he was completely drunk and completely out of it and he seriously had no idea where he was that he was yeah. trying to get into an apartment that he thought was his and i think that generally was the reason but, but in like, that moment we thought that somebody was trying to break into our apartment which yeah. anyone would think of exactly that would be happening. I, I would i didn't assume this guy was like confused confused or anything that like he looked he looked fine he was swaying a little bit but like he looked fine like he, his eyes weren't moving until i opened the door and then he just looked a bit more drunk but i don't know if he was putting it on as an app that's the thing because it looked it looked really weird but i don't know eventually he went and like we came to a conclusion that he was drunk and he was confused and stuff like that and i spoke to security and they said that he was confused he didn't know where he was but the thing that keeps like running in my head all day today and it probably will for the next like month or couple months now <laughs> is that like if we didn't lock our door he could have just been in our apartment and, and that's horrible. And he could have been drunk. He couldn't even know what he was doing. Like he could have had something on him, and he could have just like we would have been asleep, and he wouldn't. Oh, it's so horrible. The thing is, as well, like in no way do we feel unsafe in the place that we live. We, no, it not hasn't at all. made us want to like move or leave. Like we're still so happy and like feel safe here. It genuinely was just obviously a complete mistake. Yeah. And something that wasn't supposed to happen. We're hoping that that's what it was anyway. Yeah, yeah. Um, because there there isn't any other reports of people being broken into in these buildings that we live in, and it is really safe, and that's why there is security downstairs 24 seven. But like, just the thought of it, and in that moment, the stuff that goes around in your head when yeah. you're filled with that much adrenaline, like waking up like that, it's, it's just so, so scary. scary. Yeah, it's but so scary. But we're just scary. so glad that we had that security, and we do feel safe at like going to bed at night and stuff yeah. knowing that people are down there. So the one thing I want to like let you guys know after watching this video is like if you have made it to the end of this video please just like lock your doors at night. Be more careful with like opening your doors and locking them and keeping your blinds shut and stuff like that because this even could happen. Even window latches. Even window latches, anything. Yeah. This could happen to anyone. Your back door, like a few of my mates before I lived here and I used to live back like where I used to live with Rosie, mm -hmm. I used to go and see them and stuff and I used to go in their house at night um, and he would just say, come in, like his back door was open. I'd just walk in his house and if, if some of my friends are doing that, there's probably like hundreds of people that have their back doors open and 
front doors and you just don't really think at the time you just think oh yeah. i won't get burgled like that would never happen but it does happen like does. people do try and get in and whether or not they're drunk or they don't know what they're doing or they have different reasons like they want to come in and actually hurt someone or they want to do this and that like there is people out there that do want to do this so just be careful like guys if you're watching this lock your doors be careful at night um don't leave your keys anywhere that's like really obvious outside just like be super super careful yeah just like have your wits about you just be more like careful with stuff really, yeah i guess 100% yeah that is the story and i'm glad that we're safe and nothing actually happened and we have security so yes. i'm super happy that nothing bad actually happened um but guys that is the end of the video um there's nothing more to say i'm glad we're safe i'm glad we're all fine there's nothing that happened to us and that's all i'm happy about so if you're not already subscribed click that subscribe button turn on notifications on we'll see you in, in another, another video. video peace